The most popular colors for cars and light trucks vary with region and over time. In North America, white remains the top color choice, with silver the top choice in South America, and white the top choice worldwide for the second consecutive year. Here is the distribution of the top colors for vehicles sold globally in 2013. In the first column of the table, colors are given, and in the second column, we have percentage. So, other colors. We don't know the percentage of other colors. How do we find the percentage of other colors? We know these numbers, add them together, then 97. Total should be 100. Minus 97, this equal 3. Therefore, this other color should be 3%. Then part A. Is the variable quantitative or categorical? First, understand the problem. We are talking about colors of what? Colors of cars. Therefore, our individual should be cars. Then what is the variable? We take or we observe colors of cars. Colors are different car to car. Therefore, our variable is colors. So, you know colors is a categorical variable. Part B. Which of the following graphical displays is appropriate to for this data? Is team plot or bar graph? For the quantitative variable, we use histogram, steam plot, dot plots, etc. For the categorical variable, we use pie charts and bar graphs. Since colors is categorical variable, we use a bar graph. C. Create the graph you pick in the previous part. To create the bar graph, first we need x axis and y axis. Then we know we should label this. So this is 5 and 10, 20, 25. So these are the percentage. Then we should pick uh, our categories. First white. So white we have 25%. So we can draw the bar for the white like this so this is the bar for white then we have black so for the black 18 percent therefore go to the 18 percent around this Then we have silver. For the silver, 18%. So this should be the same height uh, of black. So this should be this. Then gray, it is 12%. So 12%. Should be somewhere here, twelve percent. So I will use this. And this is gray, and this is silver. And next, red, red nine. 
so we can draw the bar like this it is red then brown eight percent so we can draw the bar for this little less than nine so this way this is for the brown then blue we have seven percent so this is blue then other color we have three percent so we can draw other color three percent like this other so this is the bar graph for our data set part d would it be correct to display this data in a histogram? Now you know we have a categorical data, so therefore the answer is no. It is not correct to use histogram. Why? Histograms histograms are used. for quantitative data sets but not categorical Given the following set of data, find the five number summary. Does this data set contain any outliers? We have two parts of this problem. First one is five number summary. Okay, what is the five number summary? We know it is minimum Q1, Q2, or we can say median M then q3 and the maximum okay let me explain to uh, how to find the median what is the first step we should do arrange our data set from the smallest to the large so let me do this the smallest number is 3 then 4 5 3 4 5 then 7 and 9, 14 and 215, sixteen, two sixteen, and 219. And 50 all right so first find the number of data how many num uh, data we have we have 14 data so sample size or simple n equal 14 therefore find the location location of median how do we find the location of the median? n plus 1 divided by 2, n equal 14, plus 1 divided by 2 equals 7.5. So make sure you know this is not the median. This, this is the location of the median. So let me count numbers from the beginning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the 7. So this is the 8. So, median should be in between this. So, actually here we have even number of data. N equal 14. It is an even number. So, we should consider two middle numbers and find the average for the median. Therefore, I can say M equal 15 
plus 15 divided by 2, again 15. So, median is the 15. But you should know the median is not this 15 and also not this one, but here middle number 15. Okay, now how do we find the Q1? To find the Q1, we should consider the numbers below the median. So, as I mentioned before, median is the between first 15 and second 15 in the data set. Therefore, we should consider numbers 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 14, and this 15. Okay, now find the median of this data set. Again, if you need, you can um, find the location of the median of this data set. Location of the median equal n plus 1 divided by 2. Now n is 7 plus 1 divided by, this is the fourth one. Therefore, we can pick the fourth one. 1, 2, 3, this is the fourth one, therefore our median equals 7 for this data set. So this is the median for this data set. But if you go to the original data set, this is the 7 here. So this should be the Q1. So Q1 equals 7 then. Then how do we find the Q2? Yes, to find the Q2, we should consider the all data after 15 median, after median. So, we know we have second 15 and 16, 16, 19, 19, 32 and 50. Similarly, you can find the location of the median. So, here we have again uh, 7 data so 7 plus 1 divided by 2 4 therefore you can find the median 1 2 3 4 fourth one so this is the median for this data set but if you go back to the original data set this so this is the q3 for the original data set Therefore, yeah, now we know Q1, Q2, Q3. And also, we can find the median. So, minimum, this is the minimum. And maximum is this. So, we can write down 5 number summary. Minimum equal 3, Q1 equal 7, Q2 or M equal 15, Q3 equal 19, and maximum equal 50. Second part of the problem. Does this data set contain any outliers? Okay, how do we find an outlier or outliers? Yes, first we should find IQR. IQR mean interquartile range. This equal Q3 minus Q1. So we know Q3 is 19 and Q1 is 7. Therefore, IQR is 12. So then we have uh, we should find the lower limit. Lower limit, I say LL. So how do we find the lower limit? Q1 minus 1.5 IQR. So Q1 is 7 minus 1.5. IQR is 12, 
So this is negative 11. Then we will find the upper limit. What is the equation for the upper limit? Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. So what is the Q3? 19 plus 1.5 times IQR is 12. So this is 37. So now we know the lower limit and upper limit. So if we have any data less than lower limit which is 11, negative 11 and any data greater than upper limit which is 37 uh, should be outliers. Yes, we have 50 is the only value we have greater than 37. Therefore, 50 is an outlier.